Moving on to some other news, protests continue over the death of medical aspirant Anita in Tamil Nadu. Students clashed with policemen during protests at the Jaya Memorial in Chennai. I'm now joined by Shabir uh, with more details on that. Shabir, uh, the police were, in fact, the state government were, was in fact anticipating something like this. They had cordoned off parts of uh, Chennai uh, earlier this week. Well, that's right. Um, the police has been given clear instructions not to allow any kind of protest with regard to need or uh, the death of Anita in any parts of Tamil Nadu, particularly students' protest, because they can't handle yet another protest like uh, what happened during Jallikattu. The emotions are running high here in the state of Tamil Nadu, where uh, students and activists and political parties are protesting in large numbers, demanding justice for Anita. But clearly the state government uh, has given instructions to its police department saying not to allow any kind of protest anywhere. And today a group of uh, at least 100 students managed to enter Jailalita's memorial and they want to sit there silently and, uh, and, and, and to engage in some kind of peaceful protest demanding justice for Anita and to scrap uh, uh, NEET. Uh, but that protest was not, uh, not allowed and uh, the police uh, used uh, the force to evict uh, these students uh, from uh, Jailalita's memorial. And what is shocking is the fact that uh, all across the state, the police is uh, uh, using brutal force against uh, uh, against the students, uh, not allowing them to gather at any particular location, trying to stop uh, any attempt uh, uh, for any kind of protest uh, with regard to NEET or uh, Anita's issues. So that is uh, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, situation that is prevailing in, uh, here in the state of Tamil Nadu. Shabir, we can see footage on our screens uh, of uh, police trying to uh, forcibly get people to get protesters to, you know, get up and leave uh, the Jaya Memorial over there. Was anybody injured in the process? Well, as of now, it's not clear as to how many uh, people have been injured uh, in this particular uh, commotion that took place at uh, Jaya Lalita's memorial. But uh, uh, what we heard uh, from uh, students is that, uh, you know, some of the students were injured uh, during, uh, uh, you know, uh, the kind of commotion that prevailed at, uh, uh, at uh, the uh, Jaya Memorial. But what we understand is that why should the, uh, why, but the question that is being raised now is that why should the police use brutal force against uh, uh, these students who are just peacefully protesting? So that is the question that is being asked by many. And uh, uh, so far there is no clarification as to why police is using, uh, uh, you know, force against students to try and evict students because these students are there uh, trying to peacefully protest, uh, uh, demanding justice for Anita. And probably the fear is that uh, they don't want uh, these students to stay overnight or stay there for a longer time uh, so that, uh, you know, the other students also gather at the same location. So that is uh, that could be the reason why uh, police is using uh, force against these students to try and evict these students from uh, uh, where they are. Uh, and clearly, this is not something that has happened in Jalalita's memorial, but all across the state, uh, even police have entered colleges and university campuses uh, to try and pacify protesters, to try and ensure that this, these protests do not, uh, you know, continue further. And even as uh, there is a, a massive crackdown against these protesters, one thing is very clear that the protests are only getting intensified. People are protesting in large numbers. The students are protesting in large numbers. In some areas, the students have even managed to block roads for more than an hour. Uh, so that is the kind of situation that is prevailing here in Tamil Nadu. But clearly, uh, one thing is uh, evident that uh, the police has been given clear instructions not to allow any kind of protest. And they have been given green signal to go and use force against students uh, uh, who are trying to protest.